mother of US Navy vet held in Iran, worried about her son's health. The mother of a US Navy veteran detained in Iran is calling for his immediate release. Michael White, 46, has been in an Iranian prison for more than six months. Joanne White says she prays every day that her son Michael will be freed from prison in Iran before it's too late. She worries his recurring cancer could come back and he could die. White said the Navy veteran was on his third trip to Iran last July. Nearly five months later, she learned he was in prison in the northeastern Iranian city of Mashhad, but she hasn't gotten any phone calls from her son. Sufi woman locked up with drug offenders in critical health condition. Shokatha Yadalahi, a detained member of Iran's Ghanabadi Devesh minority, is believed to be in a critical health condition and has lost her ability to talk. She has been suffering from chronic headaches due to inhaling smoke of drugs and cigarettes as she has been recently locked up with some of the most dangerous criminals, murderers and drug addicts. Two other Sufi women, Elham Amadi and Sepida Maradi, held a protest at the entrance gate of the prison's hall on Monday, demanding the authorities observe the regulations of the prison executive code and Yodalahi's treatment. AI appeals to Rouhani for immediate release of detained activists. Amnesty International has sent a letter to Iranian President Hassan Rouhani to express concern about the well-being of two Iranian activists arrested nine days ago in Iran. Eshmael Bakshi, a labor leader from the Haftapar Sugar Mill, and Sepidar Kolin, a civil activist, were arrested on January 20th after they complained of being tortured during an earlier arrest in late 2018. In an announcement, Amnesty said, the authorities must release them immediately and unconditionally as they are prisoners of conscience, jailed solely on the basis of their peaceful activism in defense of workers' rights. Iran regime IT minister says blocking Instagram would create new problems. The Iranian regime's information technology minister said Tuesday that blocking the photo and video sharing application Instagram would only create new problems for the Islamic Republic. Mohammad Javad Aziri Jaromi told ISNA news agency, We believe the strategy of filtering Instagram is not an efficient one to neutralize its threats and might even intensify them. Acting unilaterally and filtering will not solve any problems on its own, but will only cause challenges in other fields. In January, Iranian media said the judiciary was mulling a ban on Instagram. Double bombing wounds three police officers in southeast Iran's Zahedan city. Iranian police say a double bombing has lightly wounded three police officers in the southeastern city of Zahedan. General Mohammed Ganbari, the provincial police chief, told the official IRNA news agency that the second bomb went off as police raced to the scene of the first explosion. He says the bombs were handmade and that police are investigating. Some Iranian officials said the explosions were caused by percussion grenades.